knock, knock. You say, who's there? And I say, honor. And you say, honor who? And I say, honor off. Press the switch. <laughs> We're thinking about honor, honoring your mother. It's Mother's Day right now while I'm recording. But you know what? The Bible verses that tell us to honor our mothers and fathers, they don't say just one day a year. And this is a verse that's in the Bible, Old Testament, long before Jesus and after Jesus. So we know that's repeated. It's important to God and it's good for us. So it goes like this. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Exodus 20, 12, and also in Ephesians and elsewhere in the New Testament. Honor? We don't hear about that word every day. What do you think honor is? <laughs> okay, honor off was just my joke with a knock knock. The word is hon or. <laughs> Honor is to love deeply and respect. And you show that deep love and respect by how you talk and what you do. So when we're talking Mother's Day, you may have done some special stuff. You may have, what did you do? Oh, I hear some breakfast in bed. Woohoo, fancy. Uh oh, <laughs> and some with burnt toast. Oh. <laughs> oh, flowers, what a lovely thought. Maybe some of you even made the paper flowers I was showing you how to do in that little video. Oh, cards, great. And other kinds of gifts. Something you know your mom likes. Oh, chocolate. I bet that went big. And she can keep eating it. But you know what? Your mom needs to keep getting your honor. Yeah, sometimes it's hard because she has to discipline you or train you and show you how to do stuff, help you learn how to behave. But she's doing that because she loves you and she's making a good choice. And for some of you, maybe it's your grandmother that's helping you with all that or some other woman or man who's choosing to love you and care for you. God says, honor them, show them love and respect. And you know, gifts and cards and something fancy one day a year is great but even better is trying to learn day by day to show honor to show that love and respect so maybe it's something like when mom says help me with the cleaning instead of grumble 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 and then she has to say come on help me with the cleaning pick up your toys and you know i'm just gonna keep playing i'm just gonna keep playing. hey she has to say Pick that up now. <laughs> Honor and respect. Maybe the first time you didn't hear her because you were enjoying playing so much, but you need to work on your listening. That would be part of honoring is when you start to hear your mom's voice, you start to listen. Yeah, just make that switch. I'm gonna choose to honor my mom because I'll be honoring God, pleasing him, and it's gonna help me. Okay, it really will. <gasps> Boy, it's such a help. If you've learned how to do things when you're younger, because then they're there already when you're older and you can add other and even better stuff. So I want to encourage you, the next time your mom asks you to do something, not only listen and choose to do it right away, but even say, yes, mom, okay, because I love you. <laughs> and then be ready. You might have to pick her up off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> She'll know that you're loving her and honoring her. So God bless you as you choose to honor your mom and your grandma or whoever is caring for you because that will please God. Now, all these people, not just because of Mother's Day, I'm thinking about a young guy in the Bible named Timothy. He learned Jesus and how to draw close to God through Jesus and receive his spirit and walk with God through his mother and his grandmother. Somehow they were able to teach him the scriptures all about Jesus and he grew up to be a great God, not only looking after his teeth and eating properly and all that kind of stuff, but because he learned that with his mom's help, and he also learned how to be close to Jesus, know his word. He became a great leader and was a help to a lot of 
other people. Now, these people behind me, they're praying and waiting for the Holy Spirit. More about that next week. But they were in that big room all together for like 10, 11 days. Oh, my goodness. So you keep praying. Jesus will help you to honor your mom. Goodbye and God bless.